okay guys so this is going to be a very short tutorial i've not made it so that it will be a long one so we are going to learn how we can integrate paystack the payment platform into a simple website so if your website deals with uh, anything that's related to payment you want to integrate uh, a payment platform on it now paystack is one of the platforms actually the one that i really like to use the most so i decided i'll just create a short video on that now to help us get started i have created uh, the starter code over here so the starter code uh, has some basic html and css files over here so you can always get it and if you want to get the complete source code you can select the branch over here and come over to complete source code and this will give you all the source code for the files as well great but the only thing i need to make mention of that is that in the js file here you have to change your api key that's the only difference in it but aside from that you should be good to go so to get started i'm going to switch over to the starter code branch here and then let's clone this project onto our local machine so copy the url and let's co clone this so let me open up vs code good so i'm going to just clone it on uh the desktop so that we can easily get this started so cd into desktop and then let's clone this get clone great so this is very very easy so you don't really need to worry your head about it All right so paste stack integration good so let's open this up in vs code good maximize this great so now we have the starter code here and you realize that we have only the index.html and the css files good so the index index.html has uh, a simple form where we take the email amount first name and last name and then we have a submit button that has an on-click function paste stack we'll be looking at this in a minute but that's just it for the html nothing fancy now in the css2 we just have some basic styling to style the html code that we have so uh let me link this up so we see so link sorry link and let me bring in the css so css is going to be index.css great right so let me save this up and open it up in live server so opening this up in live server let's see what we have great so this so this is what we have right we have the email amount first name last name and then the pay button right now if we click on it we will not uh we will not be able to get anything to work because we've not integrated the payment good so how do we fix it very simple we are going to head over to paystack here and then you have to log into your account so if you don't have an account you can simply just create this it will take you like five minutes you don't really need to spend much time on it so you log into your account and then over here we are going to uh, create a new business now since this is just a demo account i'm not going to be using real data so uh, we are just going to be in the test mode right so this is one account but i'm going to create a new one so let's just add a new business and this will just take like five ten minutes max and then you can set it up good so the business name i'm just going to call it test business right and it's a starter business now hit on create it might they will require you to add in some few details about your business right so you hit on these test business description so uh this is a simple test business so the staff size i'm going to say one to five industry let's say tech or it let me see 
let me use education right education category is going to be um virtual let's use virtual business it's a starter type great so save this and that is it we are done that is it we might need to uh provide further information if we are going to set it up with uh payments and all those stuff but since we are in test this is all we need now let's head over to settings settings is very very important so at settings we'll need to get the api keys that's how we can be able to use to communicate with our data so right now we are in since we are testing we are going to be using this test key over here that's the only thing we are going to be needing so we we'll use the text the test key uh, alone great so let me head over to vs code and let's create a new folder so close this up let's create a new folder let's call it js now inside js let's create payment sorry payment.js file good so inside the payment.js file we are going to write uh basically paste i'm not going to write it we are going to paste in the code over there so where do we get the integration code over here you head over to check out our api documentation you click on it come to accept payments good so there are some demos here and if you want to read more they provide an extensive uh, documentation on how to accept payments and stuff. great so you scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down over here and then click on the javascript right javascript you can do same for php if you want you can do the same thing for php that is uh where is it good that is over here but i'm just going to stick with javascript because it's much simpler to work with that so let's just copy this entire key uh this entire code and then paste it here and that is that you paste it here that is that so you realize that so i'm going to break the code down so that you see so first we are getting this payment form id right we are getting it payment form id and after that we are passing an event listener to it that will listen for this paste tag function uh for those on submit so when it's uh the submit button is clicked it will take the paste tag function right this paste tag function good and then you basically be able to pass in the paste tag pop dot setup right this one over here but one thing i need to make mention this script must be part of your code for it to run it's already in the starter code so you don't need to worry right good so after this let's just save this and the next thing we are going to do is copy the api the test public key this one so you copy the test public key and then we paste it in here just paste it there oh sorry delete this first let's delete this and then paste it in there great so with this uh we are basically done we are basically done with setting up the integration let me save this file and the next thing we have to do is import or provide a link to this js file so i'm just going to say script source is going to be js slash payment.js and that's that save this and then um let me double check great so i think everything should work fine let me open it up in live server so let's open it up with live server good and we have this so we need to enter in the email address the amount so i'm going to say 50 cities since i'm in ghana that's my name hit on pay now we might get an error good we did get an error the reason why we got the error is because we need to pass in the currency type i just remembered since the amount we are dealing with is uh i'm in ghana so it's basically in ghana city so we need to pass that in so we head over to uh the payment.js now over here in the setup right uh you can place it anywhere but i want to place it here so you have to specify the currency so say currency and then here is going to be uh 
GHS. So the currency code for Ghana cities is GHS and the currency code for uh, what do you call it? Nigeria is NGN and then the dollar is USD. So with that, that should be it. We save the file. Let's wait over. Let's open it up in live server again. Uh, let's see. And I believe this time it should work. So open it up with live server. Let's fill in the details again. And let's use a hundred cities. Click on pay. And boom, we get the test. Uh, the test email right the test the test data so this is dummy data you are not using real money the important thing to note is that you don't change these values right you don't change them now hit on confirm and this will simulate the payment process so after it's done you get payment successful and it even generates your reference id for you good so let's hit on ok and basically that's how it's done very easy within a within some few minutes you have your payment set up right now in case you don't want to allow uh, you don't want to let your users pass in their email addresses let's say over here the email address you can set up your own custom email address something like uh mind my business at in uh email.com i don't know at email.com something like this save it let's head over to live server again refresh fill in the data let's see 100 cities pay and you see it over here mindmybusiness.com so the users uh, you can basically just hard code the email over there so that your users will not have to pass in the email addresses so the next thing to do after this will be to set up your uh what do you call it your life key right you head over to paste tag here set up your life key now if you want to switch away so let's head over to the home tab you see that the transactions we just made good so we see that the transactions are reflecting over here and then we see the transactions as well good so if you want to take your business from the test mode all you have to do is click here and then it will switch from test mode to life mode but you have to fill in the details you have to fill in these ones so be sure to to legitimize the business provide all the necessary documentations before you can work with uh pay stack right great so that's just it for this tutorial i hope you found it useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe as it really helps the channel I'll be catching you in the next video. Bye for now.